Hello, everyone. How are you? As you can see, I'm not Erica, but I do have my friends and a puppet theater. And I thought, what a cozier place to read a book than with my friends and you. The book I'd like to read today is probably one of my most favorite. A long time ago, I was a uh, an elementary teacher and always, always read to my students. But one of my favorite authors, perhaps because he was so funny, was Shel Silverstein. He wrote such silly poems and I'm sure a lot of you have heard things that the man has written. But one of the books that he wrote on the more serious side is called The Giving Tree. And it is a story about giving. And I want to give you some words um, to think about after I'm finished reading. So enjoy the book. Okay, you guys, are you ready? Oh, okay. The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. Once there was a tree and she loved a little boy. And every day the boy would come. And there he is running toward the tree. And he would gather her leaves and make them into crowns and play king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk. Such a cute picture, we only see his hands and his legs, feet and swing from her branches and eat apples. And they would play hide and seek. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. There he is resting down below. And the boy loved the tree, truly loved it. Very, very much. In fact, he put me plus the tree in the heart. And the tree was so happy, but time went by. And the boy grew older. And the tree was often alone. Then one day, the boy came to the tree. And the tree said, come boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I am too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money and you will be happy. And I want to show you this picture because the boy has grown up. You can see how tall he's gotten. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. Once again, the tree was giving. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. And then one day the boy came back and the tree shook with joy. And she said, come boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I'm too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I want a wife and I want children. And so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house but you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. The boy is now an older man. And so the boy cut off all her branches and carried them away to build his house. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time. And when he came back, the tree was so happy, she could hardly speak. Come, boy, she whispered, come and play. I am too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. 
Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. And you'll see how old the boy is now. Quite an old man. And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. All that was left was this trunk. And after a long time, the boy came back again. I'm sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I'm too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I am too tired to climb, said the boy. I'm sorry, sighed the tree. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I am just an old stump. I am sorry. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I'm very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down. Sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. The end. Wasn't that a good story about giving? I bet this last week you had an opportunity to think about God and what he gave us, his only son, his very, very only son to save us. Think about that in your prayers tonight. And I want to ask you to do something this week. I want you to think about the word giving. And when you give, give at home, maybe in the words of a kind compliment to mom or dad or a sister or brother. Maybe you could call someone on a phone and ask them how they are. Another way to give. Or what I've been doing, I've been writing my grandson every three days and sending him a letter because I can't see him. Sending a letter in the mail is awesome and people love to get it. And you in your heart will love to give it once you know how happy they are. Let's say a little prayer right now. Bow your heads, please. Dear God, in the midst of all of the things that are happening around us, help us remember that you were the best giver of all, God. You gave us your son, Jesus Christ. Please bless all the little children and not so little children that are listening to this message and help them be givers. We ask this in your name. Amen.